please remember to give a thumbs up, provide a comment, and subscribe if you'd like to see more of this content. This week I'm uh, doing something a little bit different. I'm on the road, so I'm away from my lathe. So I thought this week for the video I would do a carving. I do a little bit of carving as well. Um, usually around Christmas time I'll do some Santas. I've done probably about a dozen or so Santas over the last few years. So I'm no expert, but uh, I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do one here now and I'll show you what that looks like. I will tell you that I did some Googling and looking on YouTube and I found some plans that I liked from an individual named Doug Linker and I'll post his information at the end of this video and you can take a look for yourself. He gives you a lot more detail than what I'm going to show you, but um, if you just want to see how I'm going to turn this square block into a, in this case, a snowman, uh, you'll, be able to f you'll be able to watch. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The measurements I have here is I have a block that's inch and a half by inch and a half and five inches long. I've gone ahead and made a mark at two and a half inches up from the bottom and then another quarter up above that uh, for the top of the hat. And you'll see that here in a minute once I get going. Uh, this is a snowman, so the nose is an integral part of the carving. So you'll see here, I've just made a mark that where the nose is going to be, so I'll make sure I avoid that as I start carving. Uh, this line is the top shoulder line, and then this line is a hat. For the hat, again, I come up an inch and a quarter from this first line, which is at two and a half. But you'll notice that I've sloped it down on both sides and continued on the back. Apologize, it's a little dirty there, but uh, sloped it down. And you'll see once I start carving uh, where that comes in. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. To do that, I'm just going to make a straight cut in at the shoulder line. And then I'll start removing some material. Now you may have noticed that uh, I've been cutting straight into the wood and then coming up underneath. Even though this is starting out square and I'm going to make a round, then this will be the body and the head. Uh, even though the, there's going to be two round circles coming together, I want to start off with what's called a stop cut. So I'm cutting straight in and I'm going to have to go fairly deep so it's straight in perpendicular to the wood and then I'm cutting that material out. That way, if I was just trying to come up like this and make a V, there'd be a danger that I'd go too far and then rip the top part off. So that's what it means by a stop cut. So I'm coming in straight in and then I'm just cutting up against that. Now I'm going to uh, start shaping the head. So the head is going to be perfectly round circle uh, and a bit smaller in diameter than the body. So this circle is going to be smaller than this. Keeping in mind here, I don't know if you can see those lines, but I'm going to avoid this section initially because that's where the nose is going to come from. So I'm just going to mark that off and I'll avoid that section and just round things up around it. Again, I've got the lines for the hat. Uh, I'm going to do stop cuts around that. 
so that I don't cut into the hat and uh, we'll continue to round out the head. Okay, I've done a little bit more shaping of the snowman. So again, I'm happy with the what's going to be the body of the snowman. At least size-wise, I'm happy with it. I still need to carve the arms and the sweater vest that he's going to be wearing. Now we have to focus on getting the head smaller. So the head in diameter relative to the body should probably be another 20% maybe smaller than the body here. So we've got to take a fair bit of material off it here. We'll take it off and make it round at the same time and then we'll work on the hat. So you can see I've taken uh, quite a bit off the head, so it's it's much smaller in diameter than the body. So I'll continue to round that up. I've started also bringing the hat down. It's still going to have to come down a bit, but this hat's going to have a brim on it. So I need to maintain some of this right here for the brim. I will come in here with a stop cut and then thin this out a bit. And also you'll see that I've drawn a line on here. Because the hat is sitting on his head at an angle, then I have to have the same angle on the top of the hat. So, so these two lines, the bottom rim and the top of the hat, should be parallel. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this away here above this line, and then we'll take a look at how the shape looks after that. Time to sharpen the knife. Usually a couple times during the carving I'll have to sharpen it so this one's getting pretty dull so I'll just go ahead and uh, sharpen the knife. In the end, what I want is the take a pencil here, the hat to come in like this at a bit of an angle, so it flares out at the top. So all I'm going to do now is just start working at the rim, the line that I've marked, scoop the material out, and then we'll come back and uh, again, once I've removed some the bulk of the material, come back and start to shape it a little bit more. So hopefully you can see this now. So here's the hat. It's got a taper from the rim of the hat down to the ribbon. So you'll see the ribbon. Eventually I'm going to put a little buckle on here as well. And then the rim of the hat. Then we get into the head, which is a smaller diameter than the body. So I'm just going to work away at rounding this head up so it's perfectly smooth round the brim of the hat a little bit more and just start working some of the details. So roughly it is now the size and rough shape that I want. So now it's just a matter of cleaning edges up, smoothing it out a bit and starting to make a little bit more of the detail. 
So off camera, I made his, started making his head a bit smaller. It may still go a bit smaller yet, so I haven't put any details to it yet. Still maintain the nose. Haven't started putting any details yet on the nose. Made the hat a bit smaller. I think that's a better size in proportion to the head. The next thing I'm going to do is start taking, excuse me, take the belly down. I'm going to start here in the middle and work up under the chin and and then work from the middle down, front and back. Main to the sides because that's where the arms are going to be. And then I'll show you how I how I uh, fit the arms in once I once I get some of this shaped down. So again, don't be afraid to take some pretty good sized cuts because at this point we're still getting the rough shape. And you'll notice here, even as I'm doing it, there's there's little differences in in uh, the surface of the cuts. I'll go back later and just do what finishing cuts just to smooth them out. But for now, I'm just I'm just removing mass. And I know that's one thing, and and I think the difference between a beginner carver and even myself, I'm I'm very much a beginner carver. What an experienced carver would do in an hour is probably going to take me four. And the difference is is literally that. It's the time spent putting detail that you later just cut out because you look at it and then say, okay, that's not the shape I want. And then you go back over what you just finished spending all that time on and then just removing it anyway. So that that probably is the difference between an experienced carver and just a beginner is that removal of a lot of material quickly and then coming back to shape it. The other thing with this carving that we haven't really talked about and, and one of the reasons why this carving is, is good for a beginner and why I like it is number one, and you'll see later on, the snowman doesn't really have human detailed eyes. Eyes are a very, for me at least, I find them very difficult uh, to get them realistic looking. I have done a number of Santas and they do have human eyes on them, uh, but again, I find them difficult. The other thing that this does not have, as well as the Santas, which again is a good reason to do these, is they don't have hands. Uh, they're wearing mitts. Uh, in this case, the snowman, as you're going to see, has his hands in his pocket. Hands are another thing that uh, are very difficult to carve and make realistic. So for a beginner carver, uh, I don't want to say avoid them, but I think you'll find it's much easier if you do. So wintertime mittens are your friends uh, for sure. Okay. For the arms, I'm going to uh, I'm going to draw it on here first, and I'll show you what I've done. So that's the arm. You'll notice it's coming down, and then it's got a, a bend in it here. And this line here represents the top of the pocket. So one thing I want to do there is make sure that I maintain a little bit of depth below this pocket, because obviously there's going to be a hand, a fist in there. So now you can see. Lighting's not the best, but you can see the outline of the vest and coming into the side there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take uh, a V gouge and I'm going to, uh, first of all, I'm going to just make a cut line here at the top of the pocket, which will stop cut, which will establish that pocket. Whereas when you think about it, the below the pocket you want it to be straight, but then coming into the pocket there's going to be a, a little line that way. So that's why just a very small uh, V cut into there, uh, just to just to establish that pocket line. Now I'm going to use a V tool, and with the V tool I'm just going to follow the arm lines that I had laid out. And I'm going to go fairly deep on these, which is, uh, which is the best way to, I think, the best way to, 
establish those arms right off right off quick so you can see there how that very quickly establishes the general arm shape and then I will go back later and uh, remove some more material around it and clean up clean up those edges and put a little more detail into the arm as well I'm not touching the pocket because again I want to maintain that bulk there because there's a hand balled up inside that pocket okay there's the second arm established so you can see both arms and pretty uniform so now what I'm going to do is where I've made that V cut I'm going to remove some material in front of the arm and then I'll come the other way oh I just oh I just cut his pocket off fortunately this time I have it so I'll keep my finger on it there finish cleaning it up and I'm going to glue that back in place that sometimes happens okay I'm going to do set that safely aside and we'll come back to that uh, I had a stop cut with the V groove that was my stop cut but unfortunately when I was pushing it up I I got a little bit too deep and got below my stop so I notice sometimes watching some of the professional videos you don't see those sort of oops uh, when you're beginning they do they do and are going to happen I uh, was carving away and I looked up at my camera and I noticed that the battery had died so I stopped recording uh, but uh, you didn't you didn't miss much I have gotten now to I think the final rough shape so if we take a look at it you'll see a few features I, I've still got some more work to do around the just around the face I understand that uh, but generally the hat is a good proportion weight wise the body uh, I think has got a good shape his arm is where I want it to be with his hand in his pocket with the exception of this piece that I cut off which I'll fix uh, but if you look at this side I think you'll see that it's it's what I want there's a bulge in the pocket the arm leads into it so I'm now ready to start putting some more final details into this I don't know if you can see this or not but uh, it's something I want to point out so if you look at this back I've been working on it a little bit You'll notice that it's fairly smooth. Let's compare that to uh, let's compare that to the hat. You'll see the hat's got a lot of areas like this where bulk material been removed and there's large uh, square facets to the surface. Now you're always going to have them. So the the debate is how smooth do you want your carvings to be they should look like a carving I mean they shouldn't be sanded for example I would never take sandpaper and smooth these out 100 percent but what I will do now is just come in and and take my knife and just very 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 small cuts just smooth out some of those uh, those flat surfaces now I'm taking very very small chips and like you like I say you can see it here in the back there's there still is a little bit of you can tell that it's been carved but yet it's still it's fairly smooth as opposed to like I said as opposed to the hat which has got some pretty big ones so that is up to you to decide how rustic you want it to look versus how smooth again I would never recommend sandpaper finish I wouldn't sand it down because then it doesn't have that hand carved look it looks more like uh, made in China sort of thing so that's really up to you and in your carvings how much how much roughness rusticness is too much and how smooth is too smooth so that's something you'll have to decide and again as I do this I'm also going to be working a little bit more details into it as well so I'm gonna stop here uh, recording and just go along and 
smooth out some of these surfaces and, uh, and get them down to their final finish. So now you can see the body. I still haven't glued this pocket on. I'll do that at the end. Uh, but you'll see now it's it's pretty smooth. Uh, I just took some time, just slowly, just removing a little bit at a time, uh, moving the knife back and forth to try and uh, round it out as much as I could and get rid of those flat spots. Same thing with his head. Uh, it's pretty smooth there now. Again, haven't really done much with the face. Now what I'm starting to do, you'll notice his hat. It's got a fairly thick square brim over here. I've started on this side just taking again my uh, flat skewer, skew and uh, just starting at the rim and then just pushing it up at an angle to try and take away some of that weight on the rim there so that it's much thinner. And I'll just work my way around and all the way around the hat and do that. And then also even it out because you'll notice there's a few spots here where it's a little bit thicker than others but once I once I come in and taper that up that'll that'll even everything out and then when I do that I'm gonna have some cleanup to do and I've let this this uh, what would be a ribbon around the hat I've left that a little bit thicker because you're gonna see here as I cut into this coming up here I am leaving little marks if you can see them, the little marks here. So I'm going to have to clean those up. So that'll take away some of the thickness of, of this uh, ribbon around the hat. So I've taken the weight down on this rim here. It's, it's pretty fine now. But again, you'll notice that I've got, I've undercut a little bit on this ribbon on the hat. So what I'm going to do is take my, uh, my V-tool again. And I'm just going to go around that and just clean up that, that lip there, which will take some of those shavings out. And uh, that way I won't have to remove too much of the ribbon. It'll just kind of taper it in. So I'm just taking this V-tool and just going around the ribbon. So I'm ready now to uh, start the... Uh, the nose and the eyes and the mouth represents a big commitment. Uh, it's easy to shape a jacket and arms and a hat, but uh, it takes, you got to be brave to cut into the nose, eyes and mouth. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Although I will tell you the design of this one is, I think I mentioned it before, but it's much easier than, than most just because, uh, well, the eyes are just much simpler than what a human's eyes would be. But um, first step is I'm going to cut into the top of the nose and slope that back into the face. The nose is a lot heavier than what I needed. But I just want to maintain it just in case. There. The nose is complete. That's also fixed a problem I had. I, my head, I think, was sitting a little too far forward. So by flattening that out a bit, uh, bringing the forehead in a bit and the chin in a bit, has helped just set the head back a bit, which is actually looks a little bit better in my opinion. And I can go back a little bit more in that chin yet, I think which I think will just help with the balance overall. There. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and draw in the eyes. Again, as I mentioned, the eyes are not human type eyes. In this case, they're going to be a little, a little cartoonish. Much easier to, to shape and curve. So really, I'm just going to, what I'm going to do is, is carve, carve in the eyebrows. And the eyebrows are more or less, well, heart-shaped. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and uh, just carve those in. I'll just take uh, my knife and uh, follow those lines, remove those lines, and uh, that'll be it for the eyes. You have to go a little slow when you're using this V tool because it'll tend to want to follow the grain. So when you're doing round shapes, you just gotta go a little slow. Once you get the the path started, it'll the second time it'll follow it pretty good. But uh, initially, at least, you want to be go very slow and make sure you've got good control. You can see that there, but uh, with a V notch and a line down the middle. And then I'm just going to paint a dot. So I'm going to just go ahead and uh, clean that out a bit. I'm going to do the same thing for the mouth. I want to just flatten this out a bit. It's still a little textured. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw in the, the mouth. Good idea. I like to draw them in because then you know as you do your cuts. Uh, in this case, you're done when the when what you've drawn is removed. So I'm going to do another V cut for that. There is the smile. I'm going to take now that I've got a. Now that I've got this, it started, cut it, cut pretty good. I'm just going to take my V chisel and just make it a little bit deeper and wider. There, happy with that. There we go. I'm happy with the eyes and with the mouth, the nose shape of the head I think oh one more thing I wanted to add was uh, and I went back and I looked at Doug's uh, plants and one thing that he had that I had not and that was a collar so I'm going to go ahead and do that now Okay, so on this guy, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, again, take my V tool and go around and take follow that pencil line. And then I'll come up from the bottom and cut, in, cut into that. Now, I've got to be very careful doing this. I know I've spoken a couple times about this V tool. Uh, a cut with this tool can be quite nasty. And... When you're going, especially around the back here, you're going cross grain the whole time, which is, which if your knife is going to slip and cut you, it's going to be when you're making that cut. If it slips going with the grain, usually what happens is you cut off things off your carving that you didn't plan on, like yesterday when I cut his pocket off. But if it slips going this way, it generally means it's going to be embedded in your hand. So my snowman is complete. So this is it here. Uh, I should, I should, I say complete. I actually don't have with me. I'm on the road, so I, I packed a few things up before I left. And what I did not pack up, I packed up paint. I did not pack up orange. So unfortunately, the nose is not painted yet. Everything else is done. Uh, I'm, I'm happy with the way it turned out. So I will get some orange paint, paint the nose, but for now I want to get the video up and uh, I'll post it. One detail I didn't show you was off camera I did the buttons 
here, I just carved small little circles and then on the corresponding side just little tiny slots to make the buttonholes. So I did that off camera, forgot to mention that. Uh, the paint, relatively simple. I put a little bit of shading uh, here for the snowman and under his hat, which is where it would be a bit darker. And uh, yeah, a little bit of shading on his jacket just so it's not uniform and diluted down quite a bit. Same thing on the hat, it's, it's uh, diluted down quite a bit to give a bit of an appearance of shading. So uh, there, there you have it. That's the Santa Claus. And I'll post this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, give a thumbs up or leave a comment. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.